Welcome, my name is Ranger Eric Powers and I'm out here to share with you today some safety tips on how to get out on the trails and safely view wildlife. As a wildlife biologist who spent most of my life out here, I know a thing or two about how to safely view wildlife and that's what we're gonna share with you today. And I've been hearing from the town of North Hempstead that some residents are concerned about seeing snakes, foxes, deer, and other wildlife as they head out on the trails for a little break from the quarantine. In the spring, our reptiles like garter snakes and box turtles emerge in April from their hibernaculums. Other animals like our fox and deer have been here all winter, but we see them now because we tend to hike the trails in the nicer weather that spring offers us. And still other animals migrate back here starting in March, such as many of our songbirds and osprey. As a person who spent my life studying nature, I wanted to give you some safety tips while viewing our local wildlife. Number one, maintain your distance. If you get closer to get a good photo of the animal and it changes behavior, such as backing up, running away, coiling up, growling, you're too close. Number two, other than bird feeders, please don't feed our wildlife. I know it seems cool to have a deer or fox or raccoon eating out of your hand. However, these scenarios almost always end in the animal getting euthanized or dying of malnourishment because they're not eating their normal diet. Number three, if you see something, say something. What I mean by that is that wildlife is best when observed, but sometimes they get into trouble when coming across man-made objects. I've seen all kinds of things, an oriole entangled in fishing line, a deer with a leg stuck in a fence, and even a skunk with a yogurt container on its head. And all these animals were rescued because a concerned citizen reported it to the proper authorities. Number four, and if there isn't any emergency, just enjoy your moment to view one of our many amazing animals. Understand that an ecosystem must be filled with a diversity of plants and animals, and they all function together to keep our fields, forests, and bays healthy. So get out there, enjoy our beautiful beaches and parks, learn about some of the animals in our community, and enjoy nature. And hopefully, I'll see you out there on or off the trails.